GitAhead has support for both external merge and div tools. It's pretty easy to configure as long as you have bash installed and your external tool is available on the path. Let's confirm both of these things before we go any further. Here's my command prompt on Windows 10. I'll type which bash and we see that bash is available from user bin. This path is relative to my git installation folder. Bash is included for free when you install git. Just make sure you have it available on your path. I could have also tested this by typing something like bash dash dash version. If it's not installed, you'll see something like no bash is not recognized as an internal or external command. The second thing we need to check is our external tool. We can set up as many as we like. Let's see if kdiff is available. kdiff3, and it is. Let's go ahead and close this. And let's check winmerge2 while we're here. winmerge u. Perfect. All right, now we're ready to go to get ed. Let's come up here to the main menu, Tools, Options. And now we're looking at the Settings dialog. I'll click on the Diff panel. And this is where we can set our external tools. I'll select KDiff as my default Diff tool. And I'll leave WinMerge as my default Merge tool. We can observe how our Git config file is modified by clicking on the Edit Config File button. Diff tool kdiff3, merge tool, win merge. If you need to add a custom tool of your own, then click on the configure button. This upper table displays all of the tools that GitAhead supports out of the box. You can use it as a sample to help configure your own external tool. The tools in white were detected on the path and they are configured for you. The lower table is a place for configuring your own custom external tools. Click on the plus sign to add another. Find your tool and modify the arguments where appropriate. I'll click OK. And now we can see our custom tool as an option under external diff. Let's try using our external diff tool. I can right click anything in the file list or I can right click the file header here. A context menu will pop up with several file oriented operations. Our merge tool will only appear when the file is in a conflicted state. I'll select external diff to open this file up in kdiff. On the left we can see our previous or parent commit and on the right we can see our new changes. External tools can come in very handy, especially when there's a merge conflict to resolve. Here we have a situation where two conflicts exist. We can observe that the git status patch has changed for the tutorial file. This time when we open up the file context menu, we have the option to select external merge. Let's resolve the conflict. On line 4, we'd like to select our fix from the tutorial branch. I'll click C and move on down to the next conflict. On line 9, we want to include both snippets of code. We're counting from 1 to 5, and we want the code from C to appear before B. I just have to be sure to click them in that order. C, and then B. We can check our output down here in this section. There are no other conflicts left to resolve. So I'll save the file, then close kdiff, and go back to git ed. The last step here is to publish the commit, or commit merge. That concludes this tutorial. You may find some of these videos helpful.